Oh yeah. Um, okay. As you know, the election was certified on Friday, and we have 10 days to collect the nomination signatures on my nomination papers. So we have 10 days to collect a minimum of 400 signatures, and they'll let us turn in a maximum of 800, as I understand. So on Saturday morning at 10 a.m., we opened three campaign offices around the district in uh, Jefferson, Watertown, and Beaver Dam. And we had canvases running out of those offices. We also had uh, people stop in to sign. And we had little signing locations and canvas headquarters in small towns elsewhere around the district as well. And by 5 p.m. on Saturday, we had collected 920 signatures. <laughs> So that's 920 signatures in seven hours. <laughs> so that's really uh, impressive. Yesterday, we collected another approximately 900 for a total of 1,800 signatures. That's a full thousand more than the maximum we're allowed to turn in. So you can see, I've, uh, this is what's required. This is the maximum that's allowed, and this is what we collected. So thank you. Um, I just feel like there's something amazing going on here, and it's not about one person, and it's certainly not about one party. It's uh, about the people's desire to restore Wisconsin's best traditions. Civility, open, honest government, and a bipartisan commitment to progress. Go oh, Lori! Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and in the spirit of this movement, I'm calling on my opponent to enter into this clean campaign pledge with me. Um, I hope you'll join me in pledging to refrain from personal attacks. I hope you'll join me in pledging to run a campaign based on facts and issues that matter to the people of our district. And truth. <laughs> and truth, yes. And I hope you'll join me in pledging not to attend any fundraisers outside Wisconsin and to raise no more, or, sorry, I just wanna make sure I get this right. And to raise at least 75% of his funds from within Wisconsin. And I'm also challenging him to a series of five debates to be hosted by neutral parties around the district. Um, I think people are hungry for an honest campaign. I traveled between the offices over the weekend and I met with independents, Democrats, and Republicans who stopped in to sign my papers. And I spoke with people at the offices who had voted for my opponent for years, but who decided last year that they wouldn't vote for him again. These people and their willingness to change their minds embody the spirit of what this movement is all about. I would like to thank those people, the lifelong Republicans who've now placed my signs in their yard, and all the people around our district who have quietly decided it's time to restore moderation and respect to the state legislature. I want to thank all the volunteers who pitched in over the weekend to accomplish this task so efficiently and expeditiously. Every day I'm impressed by what we've been able to accomplish. And I look forward to seeing what we can achieve together as we move forward.